Hey, what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm gonna to be taking a look at the very latest software update for the LG G4 and C4 OLEDs. Now before you switch off, because you may not own one of those TVs yet, this may be worth watching anyway if you are looking to buy one in the future. Because in this video, I'll go from the software that is shipped with the TV from the factory to the very latest software. And there are some changes that you may wanna know about and I've also found a couple of negatives. Now I just wanna interrupt myself quickly for a second because I've just been told by Peter Tyson, who kindly sent over the C4 OLED, that currently they are given 20% off the entire range of 2024 LG OLED TVs. That is unheard of on such a new TV. And on top of that, you can save a further 5% if you're a blue light card holder. So that's up to 25% off a brand spanking new 2024 LG OLED TV. What an amazing deal. And if you wanna pick one up, I'll put a link in the description. So back to the video. Okie dokie, let's crack on then. And we're first gonna start off by taking a look at the software that was shipped from the factory on this 65 inch LG C4 OLED. Now, as we can see, the software version number that was pre-installed was 03.01.06. And the TV also had the WebOS TV version 9.0.0-4005. Now let's take a look at what the TV is updated to. So grabbing my Magic Remote, holding down on the settings button for a long press, going down to support and software update, we can see that the latest software version number is 03.10.35. And as we can see here, the WebOS TV version has now changed. It now says WebOS 24 slash 9.1.0 dash 3103. Now, normally at this point in the video, I'd be hopping on over to LG's website to find out information regarding this latest update. But unfortunately, I've been hard pressed to find any information about it whatsoever. So you're just gonna have to rely on me to tell you about the changes that I've personally found myself, which isn't a bad thing, because let's be honest, you're more likely to get a hot date with a nun than you are to get information out of LG regarding software updates. Now let's talk about the differences that I did find. So the first one came about when I initially done the update. So uh, as always, it tells you to turn the TV off after the update uh, has downloaded. It then installs it and then the TV turns on. When it turned back on again, we got a nice new graphic. Just uh, basic, but still a nice little touch with the web OS writing. Now the next difference that I noticed was to do with the new LG chatbot. And as you can see on the new version, we've got this banner just here, and that was present on the previous version too. But the only way you could access it was uh, by clicking on this bar here. If you'd have gone into the quick settings before, as you can see, there was nothing at the top there at all to do with the chatbot. But if we click on the quick settings on this new version, we can see that we do have this chatbot symbol. And if we click on that, we go straight into that chatbot. And uh, I'll be covering that in a different video very soon. Let's move on to the next difference that I found then. And this is to do with a pop-up that was on the previous version. Now, as you can see on the previous version, when you went to uh, various settings, it would come up basically asking you, you know, are you looking for this? Are you looking for that? Giving you little hints, basically, of uh, a quick way of actually getting to what you may be looking for. So, for instance, if you were maybe looking for brightness and you just went into the general picture settings, it would come up saying that, you know, hey, you're looking for brightness, click on this and I'll take you to it. Well, now, if I go into the settings themselves now, we are now not getting any of those pop-ups whatsoever. Bit of a shame that because uh, it was good for those who aren't in the know about these TVs and it's a quick way to find stuff that you may be looking for. Okay, let's move on to the final difference that I noticed then. So holding down on the settings button for a long press and go into support and to software update. Now previously, if you're on something like this and you highlighted it, it wouldn't actually come up with any text at all. Where on the new version, like it was before, we would get text coming up, uh, just explaining things to us. So again, that is a positive that we still retain that where the previous version didn't have that at all. Now I did experience one issue with this update 
as you can see I went on to YouTube and it did pop up saying that I wasn't connected to the internet when everything was working perfectly fine with every other device in the house and it's working perfectly fine before for some reason it disconnected and I just had to uh, click on my router on the uh, connections page and it connected back up perfectly fine and it's been fine ever since. So what are my overall thoughts on this update? Well, I'm pleased to say that I didn't notice any reduction in brightness. That is always a big worry. Everything else seemed to work perfectly fine. And uh, I'd say that you're good to go ahead and install it. And there you have it in guys. Now don't forget I will be doing loads more videos with the C4 OLED and I'll be testing out against the C3 OLED. So if you wanna see those videos, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, if you like what I've done today and you appreciate these update videos, please reach up, hit that thumbs up button and hopefully I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Bye for now.